Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I painted a local scene. This is um, not far from where I live in Florida and um, it turned out quite different to the actual uh, photograph that I took of the area and I'll show you the photograph. I'll show you a couple of photographs and you can see that the view is framed by trees and the bay is much, much wider than I painted it. I've got more of a canal going on in my painting. And that's because I made the buildings on the opposite side so much larger. But I liked them when I was standing there looking at the scene. And I thought, I have to put those in. And um, But then it narrowed the depth of my painting down. And you see a narrow canal strip of water which it isn't really in the original. It's the trees and the shadow in the foreground to accentuate the view, the distant view, which is not very distant in my painting, but um, it contrasts and shows off that sunlit view. And I'm pleased with that effect. I did my drawing on chasing paper and then I transferred it to 140 pound watercolour paper and I torn the edges and taped them with masking tape to give me a nice border. I always do a pencil sketch and then go over it with pen. I feel more comfortable doing it that way. And once you erase the pencil lines, it looks um, very nice. It looks very clear. You can't see any tracing of the pencil lines left. And then I do my watercolour on top of that because it is a micron pen and it's colour fast. So you don't get any um, pen bleeding into the picture, into the painting. I did go over with the pen at the end. I put in little wisps of grass and weed and reinforced some of the tree trunk and houses on the opposite bank and just sort of twiddled around a little bit just reinforcing things like clouds, bark, trees and trunks and um, rooftops and I think I outlined all my sunny patches. I'm not sure whether I really achieved good sunny patches on the ground. I tried to uh, contrast them with dark uh, pine needles and grasses. Um, I don't think it looks too bad. Here's a finished painting in my journal. It's a good way to store these small um, little sketches. And I hope you got something from this video, at least the encouragement to give it a go for yourself. And thank you very much for watching. And please like, share and subscribe if you have the time. That helps my channel grow and I'd very much appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who's already done that. That's really helpful to me. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.